Hi there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but remember to only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. Sagittarius, I'd like to thank you guys for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes and the comments, they really keep me going. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Ask Your Guides Oracle card deck, and one card from the Animal Messages deck. And now, here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. This is the overall theme of the reading, Sagittarius. This is really, really good. The Ten of Cups. Water energy. This is Mars in Pisces. This is a card of shared love. Happy home. It's what you're focused on right now. It's a positive, bright sign. You're trying to manifest that feeling of home or a home, and it's lasting happiness and contentment. This could be the best relationship you've ever experienced. It's long-term, human, perfect love. True love. It's better than you expected. And it's a realization of what really matters. It's happiness from knowing your family loves each other. And this is a card that reminds us home is where the heart is. And that rainbow is symbolic of the connectedness with God and creation and the fulfillment of great wishes. The fulfillment of lifelong dreams. This could be a wedding. It's a rainbow of promise and the ultimate in happiness. There's a lot of love that's available both to give and receive. And if there was a string or anx of anxiety or bad luck about something, it's over and with good results. This is where the saying comes from. The pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, happily ever after, as good as it gets, perfect bliss, it's counting your blessings. A happy ending. It's feeling the bliss. This can feel like a fairy tale experience. The ultimate dream vision. The pinnacle of happiness. There is a shadow to this card. It's not the reverse meaning. The shadow is expecting the bliss to last forever because only masters with a trained mind can achieve this for any long term distance. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Sagittarius. Number 12 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, The Hanged Man. This card is ruled by Neptune. This can be a Pisces. Pisces could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is a watery card. It can bring in some confusion due to Neptune. It's suspension and sacrifice. It's a new perspective. There's att attachment. It could have to do with a sacred pursuit and a surrendering to what is. It's self-surrender to a higher wisdom and seeing things differently than others. It's looking from all different angles, waiting and working on yourself before you can do it. This is a person who will not be moved until they are ready. They might be clinging to something unfulfilling. They need to let go and move on. This is a unique point of view and a sacrifice for a greater good. It's a voluntary giving up of something in order to get something of a greater value. It's new inside awareness and enlightenment. It's incubating a great realization. It's releasing a mindset that's no longer useful. It's new and old beliefs that are put to the test. Someone could be examining their own beliefs, and they should be willing to lose something of a lesser value in order to fulfill a greater goal. It's letting go of fears and apprehension as they do not serve you. And this is a very spiritual card. It has to do with spiritual matters, wisdom, prophetic power. Now this position it's a challenge. There's restriction. This is a card of delay. 
It's being at a crossroads, a standstill. It's being stuck on the material plane and neglecting spiritual development. Someone might be denying their needs. It brings in depression, dissatisfaction, or apathy. Someone feels if they put in any effort, it's just not going to be any use. It could be futile. And this is only because you're not being true to to your own self. So you need to commit yourself to a worthwhile goal that will lead you to your higher good, even if it means turning your world upside down. The Ten of Cups with the Hanged Man. This is a delay on contentment. It's sacrificing or suspending your happiness due to confusion. This can also be new insight on what makes you happiest. It's being happily ever after, after delay. Here's your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Sagittarius. The Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a brand new, exciting beginning. It's like ignition. There's new growth, creativity, inspiration. It's conception. It can be a birth. Wands always have to do with action and animation. They're in constant renewal and growth. This can be ideas and creation. This can be the new beginning of an enterprise, even business or arts or finance. And this is high passion in relationships, a strong attraction, and divine guidance from the universe. It's a new opportunity and a seed to be nurtured. It's a bright new idea, a burst of creative energy, a source of inspiration and excitement and enthusiasm and the energy for something new. It's being courageous. It's new life, both literally and metaphorically. And in a love reading, this indicates high passion and excitement and fun. And in career, you look for opportunities to be creative. This can be a new and exciting job offer. It's new vitality and a lust for life, and following your inspiration and seizing the day. Remember, Fortune favors the bold. The Ten of Cups with the Ace of Wands is a happy new beginning. It's happy at the beginning. This could also indicate a happy pregnancy. And it's overflowing joy over a new beginning. And now your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome. The results and the advice. Number Four of Cups water energy. This is moon in Cancer. There's this magical offer hanging in the air, but you're not looking at it. You could even be rejecting it or just waiting for it because you do have the hanged man here, which is also waiting. You're drifting and dreaming before you get back to that daily grind. There's some indifference and dissatisfaction, boredom, daydreaming, apathy, feeling flat and uninspired, perhaps even self-absorbed. This is going within. It's seeking inspiration, like the hanged man. And it's tired of a situation. You may be fed up with something. Now this is a voluntary withdrawal. It's like taking time out to contemplate and meditate on your emotions. And right now, those are stable emotions. But you're not interested in something. So life seems dull and meaningless. So you'll need to wait for your mood to rise. You're feeling left out or not enjoying company. Ruminating. Overanalyzing. Even refusing an offer. This is someone that could be demanding proof. They might even be distrusting other people's intentions toward You'll need, someone feels like maybe they should wait for a better offer. Or they need to notice this offer. This offer could be something that could be very emotionally fulfilling. The Ten of Cups with the Four of Cups is wanting a spiritual connection. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. 
This is what's unseen. It's unseen it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Sagittarius. The Three of Swords, Air Energy. This is Saturn in Libra. Saturn also brings in delays and restrictions, especially when we do not respond to our abilities or our responsibilities. This is a difficult realization and a flash of understanding, and it brings in emotional pain. There's separation and severance and a painful truth. There could be a difficult loss. Someone found out about a deal breaker, and now they feel isolated from something that they love. This might have been hopes that have been higher than the results. There's sorrow and regret that sinks in. And now this suffering comes from holding on to the past. It could be a third party or a third kind of situation that interferes. Even a love triangle doesn't have to be, though. It's heartache and emotional truth. A challenging situation. It's cutting to the heart of the matter and stormy weather for the affections. Someone may have been going through unnecessary criticism or negativity that brings in depression or longing. This could be a longing due to a separation and distance. There's another way to take this energy. It can be the end of some sort of element or letting go of some way of thinking that is no longer useful. It's not an easy loss, but this release will make room for further growth and maturity. Pain is a strong motivator to change, and when you fix it, you grow. The Ten of Cups with the Three of Swords is dealing with fears before peace and happiness set in. Don't worry, be happy. Expectations may fall short. The Hanged Man with the Ace of Wands is an idea that inspires and leads us on. It's being ready to go on but having to wait. The hanged man with the four of cups is someone that's not interested in hanging around. There could be a loss of direction. This can also represent a time of self-pity. The hanged man with the three of swords is a sacrifice and a hurtful process. It's sorrow, martyrdom, and sorrow that brings enlightenment. The ace of wands with the four of cups can represent a new career direction. It's searching for a new opportunity. The Ace of Wands with the Three of Swords is opening the lines of communication in order to promote understanding. The Four of Cups with the Three of Swords is rejecting a challenging situation. Here's your Ask Your Guides Oracle card by Sonia Choquet. Card number 20. Exhaustion, Sagittarius, from your Divine Helpers. Card number 20. Exhaustion. Overload. Mania. Workaholism. Overdrive. Your divine helpers are here advising you that while it's essential that you do everything in your power to fulfill your goals, it's equally important to know when to back off and allow the universe to work its magic on your behalf. You've done enough. Allow these beautiful and highly competent guides to step in and take over. Your enthusiasm is your gift. There's the Ace of Wands, enthusiasm. And the, this is, there was also a reference to the hanged man here when it said that you need to allow the universe to work its magic on your behalf. Your enthusiasm is your gift, but unless it's property contain, properly contained, it can undermine your best intentions. Your divine helpers gently remind you that it's just... Pl- Just as plants need water to grow, too much will drown their ability to blossom. The same principles apply to your efforts. Overdoing is fear in disguise. Do not allow it to keep you in the manic mode. Give yourself more breathing space. Trust that your divine helpers are on the job overseeing your success so you can rest. You need to let go and turn responsibilities over to others. Now that four of cups there in the future, that's you resting. Now, just because you need rest doesn't mean that they do. Ask your divine helpers for assistance in this. They know better than you what you need right now. Ease up and let them work their miracles. 
Their message, rest. Here's your animal message. So we seek inspiration from our animal guides. Sagittarius, this is kangaroo. As events take on their own momentum, you take a true leap forward. Kangaroo, as events take on their own momentum, you take a leap forward. Kangaroo burns energy quickly when she first begins to hop, but once her rhythm is set, she bounds tirelessly under a warm sun. It is time to banish obstacles, be they fears which lurk in the dark hidden recesses of your mind or more tangible problems. They may seem insurmountable, but Kangaroo knows that after you take that first leap forward, events will take on their own momentum and you, like Kangaroo, who cannot move backward, will have no option but to go forward, your burdens falling behind you. Thanks, you guys, Sagittarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.